All right, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. And once again, it's another video. It comes to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Baal Shem, Yahweh Shai Baal Shem, Kwadash. All praises and glories definitely do. So this was a video that was put up by um, GMS Fruit of Knowledge by Yath. And um, I'm not sure of the brother's name right now. Uh, if the brother should see this video, he can put his name in the comment section. But I have met that brother. He came out here to the East Coast and uh, he actually um, was speaking with us uh, when we were up at Yale. And um, we had set up camp not too far from the Skull and Bones building. And the brother w was present with us. The brother's from uh, Wisconsin. I believe he's from e either Milwaukee or, or, or another suburb of the state of Wisconsin. And I know they speak uh, downtown, downtown Milwaukee. As a matter of fact, I used to live in Milwaukee many years ago <laughs> um, and they actually speak well they used to speak in front of the Grand Avenue Mall and I think they speak down the street from the Grand Avenue Mall I, I remember when they were building that thing uh, this is in the early 80s all right so anyway like I said if the brother should see this video he can put his his name in the comment section I would appreciate that so he put up this video, IUIC deletes the name Yahweh from comment board, SMH, which is a acronym for shaking my head. And um, I watched, uh, I watched a, a little bit of this video and uh, just like the brother said, what happened was um, Saturday, when we were coming back from camp, uh, Elder Pastor told me to go to, um, to uh, you know, we always do this, to the IUIC live and see what they're talking about, you know. And sure enough, they had a, they had a, they had um, a lesson going on and they were live. And of course it was uh, Bishop Nathaniel and, and his men and they had the uh, comment section going on. So um, as I'm watching, I noticed in the comment section, there was no scriptures. Uh, you know, no scriptures were being put in the comments. Like when you watch our comment section, when we do our, our live videos, when brothers, you know, GMS brothers, they do their live videos, and there's the comment section that accompanies the live video, you will see uh, nothing but scriptures. As a matter of fact, um, case in point, the brother from South Carolina, Manat Zakba, right? Or Manat Zak, I believe his name is Manat Zak. Uh, up and coming elder Manat Zak. He always says, look, when you come on his com um, comment section, during his live videos, don't just put comments, put scriptures. He always says that, and he got that from us, you know, beginning of Elder Pastor on down. He always say, put scriptures, because, you know, not only are you being edified by the speaker, what the speaker is saying through the Holy Spirit, the comment section too teaches you. So you're learning the scriptures not only from the speaker, but from the comment, se uh, the comment section by other brothers who is adding uh, to what the speaker is saying. So you're getting a, a well-rounded um, lesson. You're getting a lesson from what the speaker is saying. And based upon the Holy Spirit, it's feeding the other men that are watching who know the scriptures and they're adding by putting precepts, you know, and adding to the lesson. Now, I believe at the IUIC, that's forbidden. Somebody had put a comment on one of the videos I did. It might be the same video that this brother spotlighted, the brother from uh, Wisconsin. 
it might be the same video. Somebody put a comment that at the IUIC that's not allowed. In other words, as you're watching them live, you're not allowed to really post scriptures because it detracts from the lesson, which is pure horse crap. <laughs> All right. If anything, it adds to the lesson, but that's how they do things over there. But what is allowed is, you know, empty praise. And it's mostly uh, women in the comment section anyway. And they're filled with empty praise. And like Elder Pastor said, he made, he made, a, he made a, a, a good observation. He said, yeah, well, it's women. Women are not allowed to speak anyway. And that's scriptural. That is scriptural. But when I had recorded um, Saturday's, uh, uh, the uh, comment section of the live video that um, uh, IUIC was doing, my attitude was, well, where's the men? Where's the men that can add scriptures to what Nathaniel was saying? Now, I recorded for a duration of, what, 10 minutes? And not one scripture, I mean not one scripture, <laughs> was posted. Not one scripture. Okay, the women, they get a pass because, as it is written, uh, you know, the, uh, the women is out to keep silence as saved the scripture, right? We know that scripture, right? First Corinthians, the 14th chapter, let your women keep silence in the churches. Okay, so it was major the, the live uh, comment section on the live video of IUIC, the majority of the individuals were women. The majority of the commentators were women. Okay, so they get a pass. But what about the men? There had to be some men up in there. The point I'm making is in 10 minutes, not one scripture came up. Not one. And what the brother from Wisconsin, uh, what the Spirit showed him was the name of the Heavenly Father was posted by somebody, all praises, I believe the person said, all praises to Yahweh. didn't mention Yahweh Shai, it said all, all praises to Yahweh. And it was quickly taken off, as you're about to see. So, this is just more proof, more evidence that the IUIC is really not pushing the name of the Heavenly Father, his true name, which is Yahweh, and his son's name, which is Yahweh Shai. They're not pushing those names. Because why would the moderator quickly take that comment off the comment board? But mind you, um, Bishop Nathaniel, when he ran into um, Elder Apostle Ricard uh, a few years back, he told Elder Apostle Ricard that he teaches his congregation the true name of the Heavenly Father and his son. When Elder Apostle Ricard asked Bishop Nathaniel, how come you don't push the names? He said, I do teach my congregation, the names, meaning the name of the father, the true name of the father and the son. So somebody's lying. <laughs> All right. Also in their recent Passover, right? 2020, 2023 Passover, the name Yahweh was mentioned when Nate showed that film that they put together, which they really will bite in the style of uh, the movie 300 and they put this film together. Those of you who saw the video, you know what I'm talking about. They mentioned the name Yahweh. It was mentioned once. So why would this moderator, as you're about to see in the video, why would this moderator take that comment off when the name Yahweh was, was mentioned in the comment section? See? A lot of dishonesty, a lot of hypocrisy coming from that group. And that, and that group is... is they're being exposed, man. Daily, they're being exposed. And rightly so, because uh, they're not teaching you the full truth. They're teaching you half-truths. You know, they, it, within their doctrine is incorporated lies. You know, you, you can have sex on the Sabbath. You know, the MOTB is sin. Uh, the new moon is the full moon. You know? So without further ado... Let me just play a, a part of the video. The brother from Wisconsin, you're going to see he, he caught that because I, I, I certainly didn't catch it. And now that, that was totally spiritual. It was the spirit that had me record it to, to, to begin with. I wasn't told to record it. I just decided to record the comment section just to show 
you brothers out there that this is a group that's not really pushing the scriptures. All right. Um, if there was, then in their comment section, you would have men posting scriptures, adding to what the, you know, the teachers are saying in the video, like you see here at, at Great Millstone. Right. There's even a scripture where it says, uh, as a matter of fact, um, let me see if I can find it. Wise. Yep, this is it. <laughs> it is right here. This is the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus 21 and 15, also known as Sirach. If a skillful man hear wise word, he will commend it. Now, what's an example of commending a wise word that the teacher might say. Well, you add a scripture to it. How many times have you heard us say, um, if a speaker is speaking and he makes a statement and, how, you know, the, the reader or somebody, you know, somebody in the crowd or whatever that understands the scriptures, they'll say, I got a scripture to add to what you said, brother. I got a scripture. I got a scripture. Or they might say, I got a precept. I got a precept to add to what is being said. So I don't know why the IUIC frowns upon that practice within their comment board. But it's okay to fill the comment section with stupid little emojis and empty flattery and praise, right? That's okay. That's accepted. But don't you dare post the scripture that would add to the edification. Don't you dare do that. If a skillful man hear a wise word, he will commend it and and add unto it. Again, this is <laughs> this is Ecclesiasticus 21 and 15, right? But as soon as one of no understanding heareth it, it displeaseth him and he casteth it behind his back. Mm. So that's the point. He will come if a skillful man hear a wise word, he will commend it and add unto it. Over here, I hate to sound like a commercial, but over here Great Millstone, that's what we're building uh, through the power and spirit of Yahweh Shem Yashai, of course, we're building skillful men in the scriptures. You know, you're not supposed to be razzle-dazzled by some guy of a cult of personality who speaks, who speaks eloquently and speaks, you know, uh, speaks like he's a god or something. You know, you're not supposed to be razzle-dazzled by that. You're supposed to be uh, razzle-dazzled by the understanding of the scriptures. And a good example that shows you understand the scriptures is adding a scripture to what the person is saying. Adding a precept. That's proof that you understand what the teacher is saying. Uh, primarily, you understand the scripture that the teacher is bringing out because you're able to add to it. See? But that practice is frowned over there at the IUIC because it's all about starting with Bishop Nathaniel it's all about uh, uh, him getting all the attention him getting all the praise you ought, to, you ought to read the comment section of their live videos nothing but empty flattery and praise for this guy and his men the, the men that are with him while they do their, their you know while they do their thing you know <laughs> amazing but anyway let's check it out man Let's check it out. Now pay attention to the comment board. You're going to see a name. So this is the comment board that I recorded by the Spirit Saturday of the live lesson that IUIC had with uh, being led by Bishop Nathaniel. This is the comment board that I recorded using my uh, uh, phone screen recorder, right? So check it out. Demetrius watch what Demetrius comments and watch that comment be deleted this is from the IUIC live alright this is actually a video El Apostle Gabar did 19 hours ago 10 minutes and no scriptures, nothing but empty praise and superfluous flattery. 
But I want you brothers and your sisters to check the comment board. The name is Demetrius. Watch the comment and watch what happens after the comment. See that? Did you catch that? Let me bring it back. Excuse me. Now, if you look at the bottom of the screen, like the brother said, you see uh, Demetrius, and uh, he says, All praises, Yahweh, amen, right? And it gets deleted. Watch. Keep your eyes on it. See that? Did you see that? It got deleted. Let's bring it back one more time. Watch the comment and watch what happens after the comment. It got deleted. Now you're about to hear me say uh, somebody uh, put precepts flying up in here. There were no precepts flying up in the comment section. There wasn't one scripture. I don't know what the hell that person was was looking at. Uh, Dushan Evans. You know, th these individuals, man, the IUIC, they, they're set up for entertainment, man. They're set up for entertainment. Let's bring in the scripture, Ezekiel 33. And they deny that the, the now it speaks about that in the book of Jude. Denying the Lord. Matter of fact, let's go there real quick. We're gonna go to the book of Jude. Uh, it is right here, Jude one and four. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men turning the grace of our power into lasciviousness. And here's the point. And denying the only Lord God. What's an example of that? Denying his true name, which is Yahweh, which we have received the true name of the Heavenly Father through the Holy Spirit. Everything we have in this ministry, right? All the knowledge that we that we possess was given to us by the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So you mean to tell me, right? The Heavenly Father through his only begotten Son is going to give us all this information that's spot on, right? Akin to prophecy, right? He's going to give us all this information, but he's not going to give us his true name or his son's name. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, he gave us all this information, right? Uh, uh, the ability to interpret prophecy correctly. And he gave us his name and his son's name. And we have those names. Furthermore, Acts 4 and 12, there's no other name given among men whereby we must be saved. One of the main reasons he gave us the name of the Father and the Son is so we could be delivered by those names. Okay? But that's what Bishop Nathaniel teaches. He, he teaches that we don't have the true name of the Heavenly Father and the Son. Meanwhile, at their last Passover, he mentions the name Yahweh. So, once again, this is a double-minded man. And like the scriptures say, meddle not with him that is given to change. Even Elder Pastor did a video on that. Meddle not with him that is given to change. And you just clearly saw the name was mentioned, Yahweh, and they deleted it. The moderator of that comment board deleted that name, or deleted the comment rather, which contained the name. So, turning the grace of our power into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God, which his name is Yahweh, that's an example of that, and our Lord Yahweh Shai. So not only do they uh, deny the name of the Father, they also deny the name of the Son. Now there's a scripture on that. He that, uh, as a matter of fact, I believe the word deny is in there. Somewhere in Matthew. Okay, because Yahweh Shai spoke about that. It is right here. And you got examples of that now. Matthew 10 and 33. Right? It says, it says this. Well, start at 32. Again, clearly these words are written in red, right? Yahweh actually said this. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, 
What's an example of that? Confessing the true name of the Heavenly Father and the Son. That's an example of confessing the, the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father before men, meaning confessing the names. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever, here it comes, but whosoever shall deny me before men, what's an example of that? Of that? Denying the name of the Father and the Son. You can't get around this. That's a clear-cut example, and you got guys doing that right now. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. <laughs> so how you get around that, man? Okay. Um, so let's get back to... Matter of fact, let me bring in uh, this scripture here, Proverbs 18 and 10. You know, we always read that scripture. It says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. So there you go. So, you know, we, this knowledge is designed to make us righteous. So contained within this knowledge is the true name of the Father and His Son. So we have those names. Matter of fact, the same book, Proverbs 30 and 4. Who have, who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered the wind in his fists? Who have bound the waters in a garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name, meaning the name of the Father, and what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? See? So... As, as a man of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, you should be able to correctly tell the names of the Father and the Son. And those names are very important. How, you know, Yahushua, when He taught us to pray to our Father prayer, He said, Hallowed be thy name. How can we, as a matter of fact, let's get that. M Matthew 6, and then we're going to look up the word hallowed. That's why we tell you, man, beware of that group. Okay, they are not in the right spirit. Is it not written to try the spirits, whether they be of the heavenly Father? For many false prophets have gone out into the world. Is that not written? So that group is not in the right spirit. And then, you know, the title is uh, Israel United in Christ. Number one, the nation of Israel is not going to be united. The elect of the nation of Israel is going to be united. In Yahweh Shai, not in Christ. His name is not Christ. Okay? Matthew, the sixth chapter, the ninth verse. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father which art in heaven. This is Yahweh Shai teaching us how to pray, right? Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So we're supposed to praise the true name of the Heavenly Father, man. That's how you hallow his name. Matter of fact, we're going to look up the word hallow in the Greek, right? Hallow, Hagaizio, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Haga, 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 Hagaizo. Let me let me just play it. Strong's G thirty-seven, Hagiazzo. Okay. Hagiazzo. Hagiazzo. What does it say here? To render or acknowledge, or to be venerable, or hallow. Basically, to make it known, make the name, make the name known, the name of the Father and the Son. As a matter of fact, um, the reason why the Heavenly Father is going to destroy America is to hallow His name, to sanctify His name. And he, the prophecy says in Ezekiel the thirty-eight chapter, you're going to use Russia to help sanctify His name because Russia is going to shoot. Ultimately, Russia is going to shoot missiles on America, destroying this place, and the destruction of America, the the, the Great Fire brought on by the, by the chariots and the missiles, will serve to hallow, praise the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Again, it is written, the Lord alone shall be, shall be praised in that day, roughly paraphrasing that scripture. So we're doing a great thing, brothers, when we praise the name, the true name of the Father and the Son. We're doing a great thing. But there are those that don't do it. You just clearly saw an example. Here's the name, Yahweh, right on their comment section. 
they take it off. <laughs> Come on, man. To render or acknowledge, to be venerable or hallow, to separate from profane things. Now, Christ is profane. If you look up the word profane, it's from the Latin profanum, which means outside the temple. That is not the true name of the Son of the Heavenly Father. So when you keep saying Christ, you are being profane. It, it, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the book of Hebrews 12 and 16. Who else was profane? Esau. A profane person is Esau. So you're no different than the, the so-called white man. You're no different than the Edomites. It is you offering up a sacrifice as, as in your group, which is likened unto a sacrifice, Romans 12 and 1. But you're offering up a corrupt sacrifice. You're offering up a sacrifice in the name of Christ. <laughs> and that's not his name. Come on, man. <laughs> to separate from profane things. So we're, we are to separate as much as possible from that which is profane. That's why we don't use uh, Christ. Okay, because it's profane. It's outside the temple. We don't even like saying the word. And we certainly don't say Jesus. That is profane. His name is Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Or Mashiach Yahweh Shai, the anointed he is the deliverer, the anointed savior. That's how we do it. To separate from profane things and dedicate it to the heavenly father. Consecrate. And I believe the word consecrate goes back to oil. Things to the heavenly father. Oh, going back to oil. Now in the, uh, the parable of the ten virgins, the five that were wise and the five that were foolish. One of the reasons you had the five that were foolish is because they didn't have the oil. Now, part of the oil is the true name of the Father and the Son, praising that, those names. That's part of an example of showing you have the oil. So now we can call this group the foolish virgins. Okay, we can call that group the foolish virgins. Consecrate things to the Heavenly Father. Dedicate people to the Heavenly Father to purify, to cleanse externally, to purify by expiation free from guilt of sin, to purify internally by renewing of the soul. Of the soul. Hallow, be holy, sanctify. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. So that's part of sanctification. The hallowing of the name of the Heavenly Father is only begotten Son. You can't get around it. Okay? Matter of fact, we're going to read that in the... Uh, NLT. Let's see what it says in the NLT. It says, pray like this, our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. Now that same group, their leader, they, they were making fun of the name. You saw the video. They were disrespecting the name. They took the name and, and, and wiped their feet on it and made fun of it. But meanwhile, at the Passover, they called upon the name. <laughs> Oh, man, you just got to laugh, man. I know a lot of you, even members of that group, I know you're starting to see the deception. You're starting to see it, man. Let's go back and watch that video again. Let's go back and watch that video again. And again, shout out to the brother from Wisconsin. The, the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Shemiah Shai put the spirit on him to catch that because I certainly didn't catch it. But he did. The spirit had him catch it. Let me bring that back. There you go. Look at it. Look at it. It says, some uh, royalty put hallelujah, but Demetrius put all praises Yahweh. Amen. And he should have put Yahweh, why Yahweh shy. Right? But he put, what he put? He put Yahweh, and all of a sudden you see it disappear. Look at that. Gone. Disappear, gone. <laughs> Let's, let, let me hear what the brother got to say. Yep. Somebody put. See that? Let me um. I'm trying to mute this video. I don't think I can mute it. But did you see that? <clears throat> Let's go back. I want to mute it, but I, I can't find the mute button on here. I'm on my tablet. I'm not on a computer. It's fine. Let's go back. Check that out.
So let me get this straight. So I just saw a, com uh, a comment, uh, Bishop Nathaniel, all praises Bishop Nathaniel, something like that. So his name can remain, right? <laughs> but if you put the name of the Heavenly Father, right, which mind you was in lowercase letters, it wasn't even in capital letters, Bishop Nathaniel, his name was in capital letters, right? All praises to Bishop Nathaniel, some shit like that. It was on the comment section. So his name can be in capital letters. That doesn't get taken off, of course. But you put the Heavenly Father's name in lowercase letters and it gets taken off. <laughs> Why the disrespect, man? Why is this group continually showing the name of the Father and his only begotten Son disrespect? Why are they doing that? See that? Demetrius, all praises, Yahweh. Aman. Immediately deleted. See that? Mm -hmm. That's some, some wicked shit. Yes, sir. First and foremost, all praises to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Yep. Bahashim Rachel Kadash Brakatham. Dabana to my apostles, great millstone. Salutations to the Akim on the four corners of pushing his truth. In all sincerity. Love, diligence, respect, fear, and trembling. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of the Holy Son. Yahweh in the Hebrew means he is or he to be. Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew is he saves or he delivers. That's correct. All right, so I'm going to end it there. Hopefully you were edified. But again, you know, this is why this group eventually is going to be dismantled through the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Shimei Shai. Like Yahweh Shai said, every plant which my father had not planted shall be rooted out. So Yahweh Shimei Shai didn't build, build that group. And that's why eventually that group is going to be taken down. As a matter of fact, let me leave you with this scripture, Psalm 127. It says this. It says this. Except the Lord, Psalm 127 and 1, a song of, of degrees for Solomon. Except the Lord build a house, they labor in vain that built it. So that house, the IUIC, that's a, a and any group that is teaching you half-truths that disrespects the name of the Father and the Son, uh, that that group is um, that group is a labor in vain. You know, it's a corrupt sacrifice. And the same way the Heavenly Father didn't accept the corrupt sacrifice of Cain is the same way the Heavenly Father is not going to accept the corrupt sacrifice. Um, you know, a corrupt sacrifice even of an Israelite group. If you're going to sacrifice, you, you, your sacrifice has to be perfect. The Heavenly Father will accept nothing less. So it says, except the Lord build a house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. There you go. All right, so with that, on to the next one.